Hello and welcome to a, uh, another Broadway Family Karate video tutorial, Black Belt Class, Week 11. Let's go ahead and get fouled in. Shayut, Yine. Tennis of Taekwondo, begin. Courtesy, humility, integrity, perseverance, self-control, indomitable spirit. Yine. Okay, continue. This week, uh, looking at our pattern, poem, poem hyun, and uh, working with our bow. So in our warm-ups, we're going to go ahead and take um, a section out of our pattern and work it in greater detail. So we're actually going to look at the second, or the last part of the, the last part of the first half at the very end of the pattern. Um, so let's go ahead and shift over this way just a little bit into that closed stance. We're going to start the section that begins with the twin horizontal elbow strikes. Now, uh, if you remember, we are actually coming out of that C block position, okay, out of a, a back stance, and we're going to step to the outside, okay, bring our arms, are going to cross, and twin elbow, twin horizontal elbow strike. You're going to chamber your left hand, is actually going to chamber on top. We're actually stepping back towards the middle into a horse stance. Because this hand's going to load down in that low block. This one's coming up with the back fist. Back hand opens, okay. Back hand is in the fist, okay. My right hand is open. Or I'm going to step into that X stance, into a nice supported stance, come through. Low hammer fist strike. And of course, to finish off the pattern, hands palm to palm, step out into that back stance, come up and around, sweeping through, that double ridge hand block low. So let's go over that one more time. Okay, so we're from here, okay. so we're going to step into a closed stance, twin horizontal elbow strike, left hand is on top, low block back fist combination, okay, right hand is open in front, Step into that X stance, low hammer fist strike, reach hand block low. Just do that a couple more times, and I'll just count us through like we were doing in the pattern. Okay, and one, two, three, and four. One more time. And one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Okay, challenge round. We're going to go on the other side. So, C block, we're going to step our right foot up to our left. So we're stepping to the outside, twin horizontal elbow strike, stepping back to the middle. Remember, my right hand is doing the low block, my back hand, my left hand is doing the back fist. That is that horse stance. Left hand is open in front. Yep. Hammer fist strike low, open, open, to that back stance, L stance, double, reach hand block low. Okay, here we are. One, two, three, four. One, Two, three, and four. One more time. One, two, three, and four. 
Very good. Okay. okay, that is a section out of Po and Kyung. Um, pattern. We'll look at the whole thing in just a few minutes. We'll go over the names of the techniques. We'll go and count the root. Um, next thing we're going to do for warm ups, we're going to look at a couple of strikes using the bow. So, just going, if I can have a bow, please. Thank you, sir. Okay, we're going to look at the uh, Yoko Uchi strike and the Gaku Yoko Uchi strike. Gaku, Gaku Yoko Uchi strike. The side strike and the reverse side strike. But, we're going to do one thing different. Uh, we're going to work this later on as a contract drill with a partner. And we will not be switching our hand grip like we do in the seventh strike cut. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Okay. So I'm going to step back into my high guard position, Jodan Nokamai. So as I step into Yaku Uch, this is a strike to the side, aim right about here on our partner. So I'm just going to step through and strike. Okay. Remember, one, two, three points of contact. Here, step, and strike. Do I remember why? And go. Go for Uchi. Okay. And go. Okay. Now we're going to go and continue with a second strike, a second step, and a second strike. Step back just a little bit. So I'm going to do I'm going to step through. I'm going to do that uh, Yoko Uchi strike. And then I'm going to step through, maintaining my hand position. I'm not going to switch grips. And I'm going to do the reverse strike, the Gaku Yoko Uchi. Same thing. One, two, three points of contact. Very important. So we're going to go ahead, get a little space as you can. We're going to go ahead and work this a few times up and down the floor. So I'm going to start here, and we're going to do... Side strike, reverse side strike, side strike, reverse side strike. We're not going to step back here, maybe next week. So back to our Jodo no Kamai, high guard position. Okay, so I'm going to step forward and Yoko Uchi, Gakko Yoko Uchi, Yoko Uchi, Gakko Yoko Uchi. Just working that back and forth. Go ahead and practice this a few times because when we work with a partner, um, we want to make sure that we have the strikes down and the partner knows where they're going, where their strikes are going to land. So side, reverse side, side, reverse side. They really work on keeping three points of contact. Okay, we will look at this again. Thank you, sir. Okay, let's go ahead and get a quick stretch. Put it over to your right. And switch sides. And on your hips. Gently over backwards. Reach for the ceiling. And down towards the floor. Long reaches across your body. Bad angle towards the ceiling. Left arm over, shin in the back of your right. Switch sides. Left elbow up, pull across. Switch sides. Link your fingers, put your palms out of the way. Push up. Quick wrist uh, stretches, right hand out. Roll your fingertips back. Switch sides. Okay, 
Like Dan in, like Dan edge. Push in and down gently. And switch. Right hand up, thumb down. Clasp and roll. Switch. Elbows into your side, a little circles to the outside. Inside. Shake them out. It's me. Show you. Yeah. Okay, first thing we're going to review. Last week, we're going to look at the C block. Okay. Want to go ahead and get into a good L stance, a good side stance. Make sure hands are in the correct position. So our front hand is palm down, our back hand is palm up, and we're rolling both of the hands. Okay. We want to keep them relatively level. We don't want to be reaching out. So we actually have to be pretty close for this technique. So let's go ahead and look at a few of those really quickly before we practice these on a target. So good L stance, hands in a good position, and one, two, three, and four. Make a rotator stance to the other side, okay? Right hand down, back hand up, bringing through. Okay, and one, two, three, and four. Okay, C block. Let's go ahead and get your partner. Have him grab a bow. We're going to practice this on the bow. Same hold we did last week. Okay. Uh, just going, partner's going to hold the stick by the top, keep it on the ground. Let's go ahead and start right leg out in front to a good L stance. So you actually have to be in fairly close for this. Okay. Front hand down, back hand up, and we're basically just going to block. Okay. And one, two, three. And four. Just so make sure your hands good, nice, level. Okay. Do a couple more. We're going to go ahead and block and grab. Okay. We'll make sure you get the block first, then the grab. Okay. And one, two, three, and four. Okay. Now we're going to take this away. Okay. It's only holding it with one hand. I should be able to get a good C block grab, and I'm basically I'm just going to pull it, step away uh, into my Jodo Nick, my high guard position. I am uh, My grip is the same basic grip we used with the bow, uh, the Jun Nagiri grip. Thumbs up. Okay, so he's holding it here. So I'm going to block, grab, take it away. Of course, I'm not going to hang out right in front of him. Block, grab, Take it away. I'm going to get a little distance. The bow has got good distance. Yeah, it comes at me. Okay. If I'm nice and close, he's just going to grab it. I don't want to wrestle with him. Okay. So, block, grab, take away. One more time. Here, good stance. Hands correct. I'm in my basic bow, bow position. Junior here. Okay. Let's go ahead and switch sides. So, we're going to go and work this left leg forward. Okay, we're going to start with a few just blocking. Good stance. And one, two, three, and four. Okay. Block, grab. Okay. And go. Go. And go. Block, grab, take it away. Okay. And go. And get a little distance. Okay. This side will feel a little funny because we're not normally holding the bow on this side. But 
I can switch later. Once I have control, I can go ahead and switch it up. I just want to get my the bow, his bow, and get some distance between us. So here, lock, grab, and take away. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. Everyone, that, sir. Thank you. Okay. That is the C block. Um, the next thing we're going to look at is going to be a new technique. It's not really a new technique. We've seen this in our bow one step. Um, bow one step number two or three. It's one of the second or the third bow one steps. Um, it is Marote Uke. It is the double, double guard, double block. Okay. So what we're going to do, um, I'm going to go ahead Hold the bow in a the parallel stance. So basically, feet apart. The bow is about on the knot of our belt. If you ever notice, both of my thumbs are pointing to the right. So basically, all I have to do is step back in my right foot. I'm in my uh, tuna no go position. Okay, so we're going to start here. Uh, now, this double guard, we're actually blocking the side strike and that reverse strike that we practiced earlier. So we're going to take this nice and slow. This is a new technique. Okay, we'll make sure everybody has it down. So parallel grip, thumbs are to our right. I'm going to step back with my left foot. As I step back, my left hand is going to go high. I'm going to hold this off to my right just a little bit. So what I want you guys to imagine is a strike is coming in towards this side. And I'm just going to step back and block. The strike is going to, I'm going to block in between my hands. Okay, so it's the foot that steps back, that's the hand that comes up. So let's just practice that a few times. Okay, so I'm going to step back with my left, left hand goes up. Okay, and go. So now if you notice where my thumbs are at, Okay, and go. Rotate, okay. And go. Okay, so on the other side, I'm gonna step back with my right, so my right hand comes high. So I'm holding this up, set a little bit to my left, the strike's coming in on this side this time. So I'm basically, the strike's coming in, I just step back and block. Okay, step back with my right foot. Right hand comes up, I want to catch the, the uh, bow coming in, in between my hands. Okay. Good. And go. Okay. Let's go ahead, while we have the bow, before we transition back to our empty-handed pattern, let's work this a little bit with a step back. So let's go ahead and work, I'm come up a little bit. I'm going to start with that parallel stance. And I'm going to start by stepping back with my left leg. So I'm going to step back with my left. So of course that means that hand is going to come up. Okay, so this hand is up. And I'm going to go ahead and step back with my right. And I'm basically just changing uh, my hand position. So as I step back, I just rotate it up. Okay. Not holding it here, I'm actually holding it off to the side. Strikes coming in from the side. So as I step back again, I just rotate my hands. And one more time, just like that. Okay, so let's come back up to our parallel ready position. Okay, step back with my left. So as my left hand steps back, left hand goes up. Step back with my right, my right hand goes up. Left and right. Okay. One more time, I want you guys to visualize strikes coming in. So as the strike comes in, I'm going to step back with my left, blocking the strike off to this side, okay, blocking the strike off to this side. One more time, just like that. Okay, we will work this with a partner in just a few moments. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and jump back into uh, Paung Hyung. 
Okay. We will do a quick uh, review over the names of the techniques. Then we're going to go ahead and do it a few times by count. We're going to start adding power. We want to start getting this a little smoothed out. Um, we want to make sure we've got the techniques down before we go too fast. If you go too fast and you don't have the techniques, it's going to get sloppy. So start slow, work your way up. Okay. Baun Hyun, naming techniques, between our hands high, double fist block, distract, side kick low, horizontal knife hand strike, horizontal punch, low block inner forearm block combination, low block inner forearm block combination, wedging block. Trap, pull in, punch. Trap, pull in, twin horizontal punch. Fingertip trap, C block, which is the combination we worked at the beginning. Twin horizontal elbow strike, low block back fist combination, low hammer fist strike. Double bridge hand block left. Okay, second half. Going the other way. Double fist block. Distract. Side kick low. Horizontal knife hand strike. Horizontal punch. Low block inner forearm block combination. Low block inner forearm block combination. Wedging block. Trap. Pull in. Punch. Trap. Pull in, twin horizontal punch. Fingertip trap, C block, twin horizontal elbow strike, middle, low block back fist combination, low hammer fist strike, double ridge hand block low. Okay, I'm only going to do that once with the names. If you guys want more practice, just rewind it, go through it again. Set the names. Shouldn't be too bad. The first half and the second half, the exact same techniques, just a mirror image. Going to go ahead, we're going to run through this a tiny bit quicker. I'm going to count you guys through. We're not going to go super fast. We want to make sure our techniques are still really good when we start trying to add some power. We Twin arc hands high, Paun Hyun, my count, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, go. I. One, two, three, four. One, second so half. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, go. I. One, two, three, and four. There you go. Okay, let's go ahead and run through that one more time. See if we can add just a tiny bit more power to that while keeping our techniques as clean as possible. Okay, Paul and Hyung, my count, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, Four. One, go. I. One, two, three, four. Second half. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, go. I. One, two, Three 
and four. Yeah. Okay. Whoo. No. Good challenging powder. Keep practicing on it. Start slow. Get the techniques down. As you feel more comfortable with the techniques, try to build up a little uh, speed and a little power. Okay, let's go ahead and jump back into some of our bow work. Let's do this one. If I may have a bow. Okay, sir. Just one for now. I'll have you jump in in just a second. What we're going to look at is the uh, Yoko Uchi strike and the Gakko Yoko. The Gaku. Yaku. Gaku. Yoko Uchi. The side strike and the reverse side strike. What my brain's going to do the Japanese tonight. We shall see. Okay, remember, we're doing this as a floor girl with a partner. We are not switching our grip. So, I'm going to start back, give myself a little bit of room. Starting in that Jodo Nukumai high guard position. I'm going to step through, maintaining three ports of contact with my weapon. Yakouchi, side strike. Okay. Step through. Gaku, Yokouchi. Okay, reverse side strike. Now I'm going to go and do this another one. So I'm going to step through. Good, and step through. Okay, so jump back. Shirt on no kamai. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and count, just like we're doing uh, later on when we're doing this with a partner. We just wanna make sure all of us are on the same page. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four. So we're gonna make me high guard position. Side strike, reverse side strike, one, two, three. Side strike, reverse side strike. Okay, just alternating sides, you want to keep your bow about mid body. Okay, because remember, our partner's going to be blocking this using uh, uh, Morite Uke, the uh, double block. Okay, so one, two, three. Four. Then we will practice this with a partner. We're going to go nice and slow. But before we do that, we're going to look at the seven strike hop. Okay? We're going to look at the English. We're going to try really hard to do the Japanese. And then we're going to do it a couple of times with a little more power and speed by count. Okay? The good thing about naming the techniques at the very beginning, not only do you know exactly what you're doing, you know the names of it, so I know exactly what I'm doing each time, but it slows you down enough that you're not getting sloppy. Okay, you're still learning the techniques, you want to go nice and slow. If I have to remember what that strike is called, it's going to slow me down just a little bit, I can make sure I'm doing it correctly. Okay, excuse me. Let's go ahead and run through it. First time in English. Back, so we're in a high guard position. Step through and overhead strike, upward strike, side strike. When the seven strike caught it, we're going to go ahead and reverse that grip. Reverse side strike. Step back. Ah, reverse low strike, downward block. Pull that back. Two hand thrust. Time. Okay. Japanese. So, Jodan no Kamai, Uchitoshi, Uchagi, Yoko Uch, Gaku Yoko Uch, Gaku Godami, Gaku Gaidan Uch, Harayuke, Skikomi. Off to the side. We're going to do this a few more times just by the count. So when I'm working with my partner, I'm going to count through this one through seven just so my partner and I are on the exact same page. So I'll start position. Okay, and one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. One more time. Okay. Ready? And one, 
two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Twist, pull it into your side. Okay. Seven strike up. Japanese, English, and by count. So let's go ahead. We all should be nice and warmed up. We're going to go ahead, work some partner drills. Remember, be careful with your partner. Okay, your partner may not have a bow. They may have, have some type of uh, improvised bow. So be nice. Okay, it might be a broom handle or something like that. So you may be the only one with a real bow. Okay, let's just go on. Yes, sir. We're going to start. Well, it's going to come to this high guard position. We're going to go ahead and work the high, high, low, low drill. We're working several different drills now, so make sure you and your partner know which drill you're on. If uh, Mr. Bissacones think I'm doing one thing and I'm doing something else, it's a good way to get hit with a bow. So I'm stepping forward, he's stepping back. We're going to do two high strikes and two low strikes in that direction. We're going to do two high strikes and two low strikes coming back this way. Okay, I'm going to just count us through, one through four, okay, and go, one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, Four. And stop. Very good. We missed just going partnered many times, so we're pretty much stay on the same page. Um, but just make sure you communicate with your partner. If you feel more comfortable, you can say hi, hi, low, low. Okay? If you guys both know, go ahead and just count one through four. Okay, next thing we're gonna go with partner is gonna be the seventh strike kata. Okay, same thing. Okay? On this, we're only taking one step, but still we need to know who's taking the step because if we both step back or we both step forward, the, 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 the distance is going to be way off. So I'm going to step forward, Mr. Discon's going to step back, I'm going to count to seven. Uh, one quick thing, we actually make contact with our bows, one through six, and on the seventh strike, the ski combi to the side. Do not be two hand thrusting your partner, they will not want to partner with you anymore. Okay, I'm stepping forward, I'm st he's stepping back. I'm gonna go ahead and count. And one, two, three, four, five, six, go. Hey, hey! Sometimes on that seventh strike, this gets a key off. Okay, so one more time. Throw that in mind. Seventh strike, Kata. One, two, three, four, five, six, go. Hey! Okay. One more time. One more time. One more time. Excellent. Okay. Seven strike kata. And go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, go. Hey! Right. Right. Very good. Okay. Okay. Uh, seven strike kata. Really, it looks really good when both you and your partner um, practice for that a little bit. You guys are on the exact same page. Okay. Last thing we're going to look at today introduce a new contract drill with the bow. Um, we're going to do the side strike, reverse strike, side strike, locking it with the uh, double block, the double handed block, the rotate uke. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna have Mr. Just Cohen, he's going to do the side strikes. I am going to do the rotate uke. This is new, take it down a notch, go really, really slow. We have not, we practiced this for like two minutes. Okay. Okay, Mr. Bur uh, Mr. Discipline's gonna go to that high guard position. I am gonna stay in the parallel position. Now what I'm going to do, 
sense. Uh, Mr. Biscon's going to be moving forward, and I'm the other one that's going to move him back. We're going to go ahead and come back to this position, and Mr. Biscon's going to take a couple steps back. That should be good. Okay, now we're going to bow. Okay, I'm going to come to the parallel position. So to come to that parallel position, okay, I come up to the up position, but instead of bringing it up over my head, I basically just step out into a, almost a chin view position. Both my thumbs should be pointed to the right. So Mr. Discord's going to step through and he's going to do a side strike. And it's going to come in on the camera side. So I'm actually stepping back with my right foot, bringing my right hand up. So he's going to go nice and slow. I'm just going to come here and block. It's away from my body. It's not in close to me. I'm meeting the bow. I'm not really extended out, but it's away from my bow. Now he's going to step through. As I step back, I'm just going to basically just change ends of the bow. And go. Just like that. And we're going to do these in a series of four. The first block is the hard one. Once you get into that first block, you're just stepping back and changing ends. So then he's going to step through, and then he's going to step through. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and reset. So he's going to take a couple steps back. Bow. He goes to high guard. I go to parallel ready stance. Okay, this is where you have to think. He's coming into this side. So I'm stepping back with my right, bringing my right hand up. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and just call it. So uh, side strike and reverse side strike, side strike and reverse side strike. Okay. One more time. The distance. I'm parallel. He's in the high guard. Okay. One, two, three, four. Excellent. Okay. Practice that. Thank you, sir. Practice that with your partner. Take that nice and slow. Just remember, whatever side you step back on, that hand is going to be the high hand. So as I step back with my right, my right hand's high. As I step back with my left, my left hand goes high. I'm just switching bows as I step back, switching ends. So take that drill nice and slow. Okay? If you have any problems with it, go back to the beginning where we were practicing those individual techniques. Then you can practice it with a partner. Okay? Work with it a little bit so you feel a little com more comfortable with it. Then we'll start working with it with your partner. Okay, so we've learned a couple new things with the bow. We are still breaking down little pieces of our pattern, uh, Pao and Kyung. And trust me, there's enough in there. Uh, that we can practice for many, many months on this pattern. Um, and we're learning some really good things with the bow. Um, hopefully, you guys have two bows. If not, we will hopefully sooner than later get back in the dojo and we will be able to eventually work partners with the bows. It works really well when you've got two partners with two bows and you guys have really practiced and worked together for a while. Uh, we work up, up and down the floor. Um, after, you know, once we're in here, because we can do eight, nine, ten strikes each way. Okay, that is your black belt lesson today. Make sure you guys practice that material. Um, let's go ahead and bow out. Face me. Roots, you know. Student note, begin. I pledge to be a champion of freedom and justice. I pledge to observe the tenets of Taekwondo. I pledge to respect my instructors and my fellow students. I pledge never to misuse Taekwondo. I pledge to build a more peaceful world. You know. Thank you very much. Practice. See you guys next week.